Alguém chama a segurança! Alguém chama a segurança! You copy now? Loud and clear. What's the plan? According to our intel, the power source is being worn as a bracelet by some tycoon's trophy wife. We're working on pinpointing her location, but she's most likely inside a VIP booth on the stadium's upper level. I'll update you when I know more. Now to find a ticket. Pose in trap. We don't have time to play nice. Steal someone else's. Bit of a dick move, don't you think? Well, I guess you could try and sneak past security instead. Não posso deixar entrar sem um bilhete. Quick, Desmond. Hot. Preciso ver seu bilhete. Everything all right, Desmond? You should really get moving. Sneaking past security should get you into the arena. Preciso ver seu bilhete. Certo, pode entrar. That doesn't look like normal security. Because it isn't. Those are Abstergo agents. Cross is probably here too. You need to be careful. That doesn't look like normal security. Because it isn't. Those are Abstergo agents. Cross is probably here too. You need to be careful. Quick, Desmond! Hide! Or blend! Or do something! Chame a segurança imediatamente, Silvi. Your 
target's definitely in the VIP area. The entrance is at the end of this concourse. Great. They've set up a checkpoint. Don't forget about your eagle vision, Dustin. Stick close to the crowd and you should be okay. Or look for a way around them. like I'm close. Shit! Another checkpoint. You're gonna have to find another way around. Security's too tight here. Other side?
We can get back to Connor whenever you're ready, Desmond. Unless you want to plug in the power source first. Up to you. I can't believe it's taken me so long to ask, but... How's Mom? She's not... No, 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 no. Your mother is fine. We decided it was safer if we split up for this job. Always assuming the worst. <laughs> for good reason. Can I at least say hi to her? I'm sorry, it's too risky. Maybe when we're done. Right. When we're done. Unbelievable. What's up? Your politicians are constantly referencing the Founding Fathers, and insisting they must have been in support of one thing or another. I have never seen such a blatant disregard for history. That's just typical political propaganda. It's also dishonest and delusional. How can anyone claim to know what these people wanted based off scraps of paper and wishful thinking? They're looking for intent. What these men envisioned for our country and its future. Idealistic. And unlikely. I don't think most of your presidents and senators and judges care what the founders thought. They just want to know how they can bend old words to achieve modern goals. Who cares if they were... So, what's the latest? Learn anything interesting while you were exploring? They were working on some weird stuff towards the end. 
trying to engineer new bodies and store their minds inside computers. Failure after failure. It must have been hard for them. I worry about it too. I mean, they say there's something in here that'll help us, but what is it? Why is it locked up if it's exactly what we need? I don't know. Maybe it's dangerous? Maybe they wanted to make sure only you could reach it. That's the other question. What makes me so special? I guess we'll know once we open the door. Oh, look at that. I found a third power source. Already? It popped up in an earlier search, but I've only just managed to confirm it. Where? There's a museum in Cairo with one on display. I guess Connor will have to wait. No, you stay. We need to find that key, and time is running out. I'll make the trip. What about Cross? Everything's going to be fine. I'll be back soon. Ready when you are, Desmond. Winter approaches. The air is still and sharp with grim expectation. The others sense it too and go about their work with uncommon urgency. I would like to help them, but more pressing matters now demand my attention. The Templars have targeted George Washington directly and will not rest until he is dead. I had hoped to shield him from this knowledge, but Thomas Hickey ended any hope I had of staying silent. And so I have resolved to share everything I know of the Templars and their plots of who I really am. Achilles finds fault in this, and we argue every day, but there is simply too much now at stake to maintain restraint. Don't do this, Connor! Then what would you propose we do? Sit and watch while the Templars take control? We are sworn to stop them, or have you forgotten? Assassins are meant to be quiet, precise. We do not go announcing conspiracies from the rooftops to all who pass by. Who are you to lecture anyone? You locked yourself away in this crumbling heap and gave up on the Brotherhood entirely. Since the day I arrived, you've done nothing but discourage me. And on the rare occasions you've chosen to help, you've done so little, you may as well have done nothing at all. How dare you! Then tell me, on whose watch did the Brotherhood falter? Whose inaction allowed the Templar Order to grow so large that it now controls an entire nation. If I sought to dissuade you, it was because you knew nothing. If I was reluctant to contribute, it was because you were naive. A thousand times you would have died and taken God knows how many with you. Let me tell you something, Connor. Life is not a fairy tale, and there are no happy endings. No. Not when men like you are left in charge. In your haste to save the world, boy, take care you don't destroy it. Ha! It's a lovely place to hide. Have I missed something?
Thank you. Yama.
Shut that whore up! What happened? They demanded we give our entire yield to the Crown. Warren refused. They killed our animals, salted our earth, then dragged us out. You saw what followed. I'm afraid we have nothing to give you in thanks, stranger. We have nothing left. Perhaps there is something you could do instead. Anything. I live in a small community not far from here. The soil is rich. The people I live with would have need of fresh vegetables, wheat, or corn. If you were to rebuild your farm, you may prosper. What kindness is this? This certainly comes see. Thank you. How dare you call upon me after Monmouth? I have nobody else to turn to. The Culper Ring informed me that West Point's been infiltrated. I believe they intend to murder Major General Benedict Arnold. I still do not see why you need me. The loss of such a figure would be devastating to the cause. It must be done without my soldiers' knowledge. The mere idea of the Patriots being breached would be crippling to morale to the war. Will you do it? It will be done. But never call on me again. We tried to get in through the back of the brewery last night. My brother Josiah's cudgels warned them off. Tenacious, but not quite suitable. If your joints excruciate, ear sanguinate, or feet distend and tumefy, you have but one new. If you could spare a bite for us, we'd be in your death. Beat us for begging. Just distract them for a moment, and we'll take what we need. The best products come directly from the Rhineland. Still too close, mister. Draw my farther. Too close, 
faster. Draw him up farther. <laughs> God, please keep me safe. Keep yourself down on the ground. Mister, please, can you help me? Ah, praise be to God. I was reaping my yield and these lobster backs attacked me. I mean only to sell my produce in the borough. Ah, please, they sent for reinforcements when I fought back. I only need to finish the harvest and I cannot rebuff them alone. Yeah. <laughs> 
Doctor, please, can you help? Ah, praise be to God. I was reaping my yield and these lobster backs attacked me. I mean only to sell my produce in the borough. Ah, please, they sent for reinforcements when I fought back. I only need to finish the harvest and I cannot rebuff them alone. regular price. Those men have been seizing everything and driving up the cost. It's not right. I don't much care where you find it. Just get me the money, or you'll suffer the consequences and be removed from your home. It's not complicated. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. Darling, take the children and stay out of sight. Bloody business, that way. But I thank you nonetheless. I can rest easy knowing this extortionist might be back threatening my family. Might I have a word? Name's Dobby Carter. 
couldn't help but notice you're getting involved in the goings-on in our borough. Thought we might be of service to each other. What is happening here? Ever since the war kicked off, merchants have been demanding high prices for the good of the cause. Profiteering is what that is. It's high time the folks round the way got a fair shake. How can I help? That easy. That's a change. Uh, set these up nearby when you get a chance. It's part of a bigger plan I got. Come see me when you're done. Anything you can offer, beat us for begging. Just distract them for a moment, and we'll take what we need. Still too close, mister. Draw my farther. Pete, he'll kill himself. Hey, where are you going? Merchants are still gouging people around here. We'll talk again soon. Suffer the consequences and be removed from your home. It's not complicated. But I never did nothing for you! Why do I owe you anything? You owe what you owe, and there's nothing else to be said about it. Pay me, or my associates will discharge you and your family from your residence, by force. Cool. I don't want to pay anybody! Oh, money! Oh, good day, sir. Have you come? Oh, here's the well. Darling, take the children and stay out of sight. Bloody business that was, but I thank you nonetheless. I can rest easy knowing this extortionist won't be back threatening my family. Be to God. I was reaping my yield and these lobster backs attacked me. I mean only to sell my produce in the borough. Please, mister, please, can you help me? Praised be to God. I was reaping my yield and these lobster backs attacked me. 
I mean only to sell my produce in the borough. Please, they sent for reinforcements when I fought back. I only need to finish the harvest, and I cannot rebuff them alone. a regular price. Those men have been seizing everything and driving up the cost. It's not right. Back off. These are my blankets. What are you doing burning my blanket? Your blankets are infected with smallpox. You should get to the doctor right away. Oh, that's just great. or you'll suffer the consequences and be removed from your... Oh, good day, sir. <laughs> Darling, take the children and stay out of sight. <laughs> Bloody business that was. But I thank you nonetheless. I can rest easy knowing this extortionist won't be back threatening... Back off. These are my blankets. What are you doing burning my blanket? Your blankets are infected with smallpox. You should get to the doctor right away. Oh, that's just great.
These men have been found guilty of treason and conspiracy. Crimes punishable by death. The sentence to be carried out forthwith before the... Thank you. Thank you ever so much. is here too long.
No loitering here, man. Get yourself away from here. So, what have you been eating?
These men have been found guilty of treason and conspiracy. Crimes punishable by death. The sentence to be carried out forthwith before these witnesses. They didn't do nothing. Please stop. Move along. Unless you want to join me. Ready? Hey! Thank you. Thank you ever so much.